Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how-to video on how to set up the new Bitmain Antminer S21 XP. This is the most efficient air-cooled Bitcoin miner from Bitmain in 2025 at an advertised hash rate of 270 terahash at about 36.45 watts. Now that would be an efficiency of 13.5 joules per terahash. So that would make this the most efficient Bitcoin miner on the market right now as of March 2025. Now depending on your environment and depending on how your power infrastructure and whatnot is set up it may draw a bit more power. So in my testing here I have about 81 Fahrenheit. I will show you guys the power consumption later on in this video once we plug it in and set it all up. So to begin this is the box that it came in. So if you're thinking about getting a Bitmain Antminer S21 XP it's going to be wrapped in this anti-static bag and then it's got foam on the bottom and as well as the top. So nice foam packaging here, really safe for when it's getting delivered to you. Now, before you actually even maybe buy one of these things, you gotta make sure you have the power infrastructure. So you gotta make sure if you're in North America, you're gonna need at least 240 volt, 30 amp circuit to be able to power on your Antminer S21 XP. So get a certified electrician to run a circuit in your home and then you're gonna need a 240 volt 30 amp PDU okay so this is going to come with the new P13 to a C20 power cable okay and so you're gonna need a 240 volt 30 amp PDU so that you can power your Antminer S21 because it's going to be drawing almost 37 3800 watts the circuit that you're gonna need run in your house or wherever you're gonna be mining with this one of these things it's gonna draw a lot of power and so I have a 30 amp 240 volt circuit here that can go up to respectively you know 80 percent rule about 57 5800 watts so I'm not going to saturate the whole circuit but I'm going to have a little bit of extra capacity if this thing is going to draw 3800 watts so you got to make sure you have the power infrastructure set up first before you actually invest into one of these things next you're going to need internet connectivity okay and it's by ethernet there is no wi-fi on this machine okay so you're going to need hard line uh, internet ethernet to your own network at home in order to get an IP address in this thing so that we can log into it. Then as well, you're going to want to make sure you have this in a place that you can extract the heat because 3,800 watts of heat is going to be quite a bit. So for example, I have like a big metal shelf here in my garage and I got an exhaust fan that goes out the window and then I have uh, 240 volt 30 amp meter circuits that I run here and I got a bunch of big boy ASICs that are the heat is just going out this way out of my exhaust fan so that's how I have mine set up at home and so you guys could do this too. So once you got it placed where you want it to mine, plug in the ethernet, then next we are going to plug in the power cable, okay? So first thing I like to do first is plug it into the uh, miner itself before plugging it into the PDU, okay? So we're gonna just push it in here. You need put in a little bit of force, okay? You're gonna hear a massive click. Then next we're gonna plug it into the PDU itself, okay? So the other side of the power cable, which is a C19 going into C20, okay? So this is gonna go right into here, like this. And it's gonna turn on automatically. There is no power switch on the Antminer S21 XP. It's just gonna turn on and we are gonna see and hear it come on, okay? So it's gonna be loud initially and then uh, we're gonna need to log into it now, okay? So we need to get an IP address from this thing. So there's essentially two ways to do that. One, since this has a screen, it's actually gonna show the IP address on the miner, all right? So you don't need to use like an IP scanner or log into your router, which would be the second option uh, if you wanna get the IP address of this thing because we need to log into it in order to update our mining pool and worker address and whatnot, okay? so. Let's just see if it's gonna get an IP, and I mean, it should, and there it is. So that would be the IP address you would plug into your browser, web browser, and we're gonna log into it, okay? So let's do that right now. See you guys on the computer. Okay, so here is the S21 XP. I placed in the IP address in the browser, so you're just gonna copy the IP, or the IP that you were able to get from uh, the screen, or alternatively through your router okay so once you pop that in 
Uh, it should pop up with a username and password, which is gonna be root and root. I'm sorry it didn't come up in this example because I already logged in and there's no logout button for me here, so it didn't come up. So once you log in with root and then password root, you're gonna see the web GUI of the Antminer S21 XP. So now this is where you're gonna figure out which mining pool that you want to mine on. So you can choose any mining pool that you want. Most of them will require a username and password registration. So I'm just an example, I'm gonna use via BTC, okay? So I have already signed up for an account. You guys just have to do that yourselves. Very easy to do. Then once you do that, okay, you're gonna be presented with the pool tab at the top. Now this is where you're gonna to go, to, go to dashboard and we wanna get the mining pool uh, to point the S21 XP to this mining pool. So if you scroll down, you should see the stratum URL and there is a nice copy button here. Alternatively, you can just right uh, highlight and control C. Then we're gonna go back to the web GUI of the S21 XP, go to settings, okay? And it's gonna show up here. This is where you're gonna copy and paste that into here, okay? Pool number one. Then most mining pools will have backup mining pools as well, okay? So this is gonna be dependent on the mining pool. It may be a different name, also a different port, okay? So on via BTC specifically, there's port 25 and port 443. Okay, so I have already entered that in here. You guys can see uh, this example. So two uh, different other ports just as backup, okay? Then next, you're gonna wanna get your account name that you registered with on via BTC or similar mining pool. So for mine, it's RPM 2023. I already put that into here. So, and then you're gonna wanna distinguish a worker name. So you're gonna put a period and then a uh, name. For me, I just put S21 XP. So that's why how I can see, if I go to my workers tab here, I can actually see uh, the S21 XP here, uh, right, right here, okay? So that's how it distinguishes your worker name from your other Bitcoin miners if you pointed it to the same mining pool. Okay, and then password, I just put an X. You can put in anything, it's optional, but just make sure you put it on uh, the miner name on the same other two backup pools as well and XX, okay? Then once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna make sure it's, uh, <laughs> I had mine on sleep mode uh, because I'm doing this uh, as a test, right? To showcase to you guys. Make sure it's on normal mode and you're gonna wanna hit save. And it's gonna start mining. It should take a couple minutes to ramp up and you're on your way uh, to mining Bitcoin with the Antminer S21 XP, okay? So let's go back out. Okay, so it's just starting up to mine. This is how loud it is. Depending on your environment, the fans could ramp up and be louder. So you can see. 80 decibels, goes up to about 90 decibels at its peak. Quite loud, it's quite loud. But anyways, it's mining now. And uh, initial startup, it's gonna take a little bit more power but after about 10 minutes or so, it's gonna drop down to about, uh, for me, about 3750 to 3800 watts, okay? So you can see here, it is mining now, 289 terahash. Uh, that fluctuates a lot, so just be mindful. Uh, it should get about 270 uh, terahash, but on the web GUI, because we just started, okay, I'll just refresh here. It's showing 271 terahash on the web GUI, okay? So yeah, that's it guys. That's how you set up the Bitmain S21 XP. It's mining successfully now. And uh, good luck to all of you who has one. And uh, hopefully it mines perfect for you. Okay, so thank you to CryptoMinerBros.com. If you guys are interested in one of these miners, use code REDPANDA for 70 bucks off. Link down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out. Oh, there you go. Oh, power's already dropped down.